All right, guys, we're going to go over the next problem of 645-2C. So during quarantine, he wants to create new functions of Celex 2021. The developers made this function, gazgiz, which is an infinite table to the right and a corner like this. Okay, um, cells with the coordinates x, y start at the intersection of the row x and y column. 1, 1, upper left starts with 1, 1, with integer 1. Um, developers of some function don't sleep either, so they came up with the rand function which is where they, um, to, to go from one cell to the other, you could only go right or go down, right? So if you could only go right and go down, right, go down, right, go down. Okay. So then now consider the paths from X1 to Y1 cell to the X2, Y2 cell, such that the next path, next cell in the path is located either down or to the right one. So now we got to calculate the minimum number of, oh, not minimum, calculate the number of different sums of elements of all such paths. All right, so to understand this problem, we have to actually draw this out and uh, just with three by three grid first, and then we'll see what what the answer would be like. Because you have to draw this out and see like which path to find the different uh, number of paths, different sums of elements for each path, okay? So I'm gonna draw it out with you guys right now. Okay guys, so let's just label each, each number in um, this grid and see which the paths are okay so like let's say how about we just use a three by three for now because uh if going for a large one takes too much time okay so let's just see how the pattern actually works first because some of you guys might i didn't even notice this during when i saw the the contest okay so if you can notice here um the pattern actually works like this you have one then it goes to two then it goes to three then you have four, then it goes to five, then it goes to six. And then if there's more here, there's, there would be a seven, then it goes to eight, then it goes to nine, and then 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, yada, yada, yada. So pretty much um, this path, now let's try to think about um, ways how we could go from one cell to another, okay? So if we start at this cell x1, 1, 1, so 1, 1, let's label these rows and columns, okay? Whoops. All right, um, let's just see what the sum of the paths would be if I were to go from 1, 1 to 3, 3 for this one, right? So I wanna go from 1, 1 to 3, 3. So I wanna go 1, 1 to 3, 3. So um, what can I do? I, well, I'm gonna go right and then go down and then right, go down, right? So let's just go all rights and then all downs first. So if I were to start from one and I'm gonna go all right, I'm gonna add all the sums from the all to the right, then go all, add all the sums, go down, right? So I'm gonna do one plus two plus four plus eight plus 13, and that'll be one path, okay? So this is gonna be like one, one path. Now let's say if I were, instead of going all right and then go down, I'm going to go to the right and then go down once, right? Just go, instead of going all right and go down, we're gonna go to the right and then go down once. And then then go right and then go down, okay? Then go all the way right and then go down, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So let's, let's, let's find out this path now. So this path. Well, this path is one plus two plus five plus eight plus 13. Well, wait a minute, look at this. It's the path from here compared to the first path is just one more than the, the last path, right? So if you were to go down instead of going like all the way right and then go down, you would you're increasing it by one. So let's 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 look at this again. Let's look at another one. Let's let's add instead of going right right all rights and then all downs and then all rights and down, we're gonna go one one down. So I'm gonna label that as like R to the right and then down as uh going down so that so in this case for the for the first case we went right 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 and then down 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 right so that was right 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 and then down 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 um in the second case we went right down right and then down we went right right down right down right down right down right okay yeah uh right right down down oh wait whoops i, I put too much on the first one right right down down all right, so the first one was right, right, down, down. So now the second one, we went right, down, right, down. Okay, now for the third one, let's go down and then all rights and then down. So we're gonna go down, then all rights, down, two rights, and then one down. 
Okay, so what is that? That's one, one plus three plus five plus eight plus thirteen. So one plus one plus three plus five plus eight plus thirteen would get us to three three. And this sum is also just one more than the previous sum, as you can see here, right? So now now let's instead of now let's go now let's uh, go all downs and then all to the rights. So let's see what that gives us. If we go all downs one one down. Uh, down again, and then two rights, we get 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 13. Okay, so that that gave us the da, 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 one right, one down, one right, right, down. Yeah, so this gave us two more, and it's because like uh, I, I, we, we, we needed one, I think I missed one. Down, 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 right, right, right. Uh, da, 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 one down. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I missed one. Down, right, down, right. Down, right, down, right. Yeah, I missed one. My bad. So, we're going to go down, right, down, right. Yeah, I missed one. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13. And then that's, that's one more than this one. And then we go down, down, right, right. 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 13. Yeah, so, there, so all these paths are just one more than the previous path. So the smallest path is going to go be all the, just keep going right and then all downs, like the first one, right? Keep going right and then all downs. And the largest path is going to be all downs and then all rights, right? So that, that's, that's the, the number that we're going. So now let's think about how many number of downs and how many rights are there for the first one? Well, simple. This is just going to be the difference between the number of columns so the number of rights i'm going so in the first one we're going right right down down this is going to be the difference between the number of columns we went right right tw two times and that's the difference between three and one right we went right right two times and that's three and one and then we went down down two times down down two times and that's the difference between um yeah th that's also the difference between three and one also so that's the one, three, one, three, and three, three. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's also the difference between three and one. So in this case, the number of rights and the number of downs are going to be the difference between the number of rows or the difference between the number of columns, right? So if I'm going to do go from right, right, and then down, down, and then right, down, right, down, and then down, right, right, down down, right, down, right, down, down, right, right. I have to, I'm keep, I'm multiplying the, the, I'm going through every single difference of rows and the difference of columns. So in the, in the first case we had, uh, we're going from one, one, two, three, three. So the difference of rows is going to be, um, so let's X one, Y one, X two, Y two, right? X two, Y two is the one we're getting at. It's going to be the difference of rows multiplied by the difference of columns. Okay? Because that's going to be the total different number of ways I could get from here to here. And then that's that'll be the total different number of ways. But I also have to keep track of the first one, the first one I'm including, so I have to add one. Okay, so that's that's pretty much how you would do this question. You would have to you have to draw out the difference of uh, what you're going through and the total number of ways you have to calculate it based on the um, drawing out, drawing it out, and then trying to find the pattern. Okay, so that's that's how you do this problem. Um, yeah, I'll show you the code and then that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is the code. You're just all you have to do is just read in the number of test cases uh, while the number of test cases going down. You're going to read in x1, y1, x2, y2, and then you're going to uh, subtract y2 minus y1 and multiply x2 minus x1, and then that'll be the number of different way ways, and you also have to add one to include the first case. So then that's, that's it. Yeah, that's how you do this problem. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.